And I mean, this is the truth of it, y'all. You ever talk to that narcissist after uh, after everything, like that one last time, or, or you, you had something you had to resolve with them, and they start telling you, everything's great, everything's great over here. You know, I'm great with that guy that or that girl that I cheated on you with, and that cheated on me, and that beat me, and the reason I kept running back to you, or uh, the excuses I kept giving you was because they was beating and cheating on me, you know, and everything's good now. And you know damn well, everything is not good. You know damn well. They ever bring up something in like a side glance, something that you did, you may have actually hurt them. You know, you returned fire. Uh, you returned fire with truth because the narcissists hate the truth. Now, I've told you all before, when they start lying on you, you hit them with the fucking truth. You ever hit that? And they're like, well, I don't understand because I can handle it. I can handle it, but other people can't. I, I could. No, you can't handle it. Narcissists can't handle shit. They ain't been able to handle a damn thing. Uh, they, 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 they're over emotional. They, they, they're emotionally reactive. Uh, they lie habitually. They don't. They don't live in those. They don't live in the real world. When you talk to them after, you know, after you've gotten away, after you've regained who you are and your strength. Uh, and they try and come at you like everything's fine and 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 whatever the whatever it is whatever bullshit they're trying to, to to pull on you, you know damn well they ain't okay. They jump in from supply to supply to supply. They on their back or they pushing it in like pushing rope all the damn time. They don't respect their bodies. They don't respect themselves. They don't respect their lives. The, the kids are growing, going to grow up. Unfortunately, those poor kids, if they got them, are going to grow up to be just like them or to be damaged or to not be able to love properly because of the image, because of what they learned from that narcissistic parent. Every single, look back at the trail of lovers. Like I'm dead serious. The person that you was triangulated with or the people you were triangulated with they might not even be as nasty as you think they are. They were made to be that way. Think about how you were manipulated. They're, they might have been manipulated the same way. You don't know. Were you a good person? Like, were you a good person before you had to go through that trauma bond and all that reactive abuse and gun fighting up against that lying, terrible, awful piece of shit? You know, did you, you did things you weren't proud of, right? Who knows? Who knows what that other person has had to go through? Maybe they are garbage. I don't know. Uh, but that ain't for us to decide. We know who is that narcissist that lied to you, treats you like shit, lies to you to this day, lies to themselves, lives in cognitive distance, lies to anybody that they can. Your narcissist is your trash collector also. Remember that. I'm dropping knowledge on you today. Their narcissist is your trash collector. Look at the people that still hang around the narcissist. And I'm not talking about the ones they fooling because they do, they're, they're con artists. They put that mask on, all right? Look at, I mean, they don't even, they are... They live in such cognitive dissonance that even the flying monkeys, other narcissists that they've gathered around to reinforce their bullshit or to come after you or come after whoever else, whatever plot, plan, them them twirling mustache, lame ass evil people do, uh, they're cutting each other up. They're destroying each other. You don't think that that flying monkey or those flying monkeys that, that the narcissists surround themselves with, those other toxic people, aren't talking trash about that narc behind their back, aren't setting them up. You don't, you know, like they live in darkness. They live in dark forces. They, they, they live in negative karma. They wouldn't know what good karma was uh, because they've never generated it. So it you, you, walking away is the best thing to do, guys. When you talk to them that last time or those last couple times or whatever, when your eyes were open, when you understood who that horrible hoovering hobgoblin was, yeah, you know, let me, I wonder if you had the same experience as me. Did you just nod and be like, all right, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah so just, you know, I mean, just to end the con, just so you didn't get narcissistic rage, just so you didn't, you didn't conflict with their lying ass bullshit worldview where you were just like, yeah, okay, all right, whatever. Like, did you just, because it don't matter. And you know damn well that if you don't agree with their lies and their illusion and their bullshit, that they're going to snap. You don't need to worry about who they're with. You don't need to worry about who they're around. You don't need to worry about none of it because it's going to be the same garbage. Look at the people that that, that narcissist surrounds himself with. Garbage collector. Awful, terrible people. And if you see people that you have thought were good, you know, in the past around any of the flying monkeys or other narcs that that, that person, that, that toxic person gathered around them? Well, you know the truth about them too. Absolutely, birds of a feather flock together. Trust it. 
Trust your intuition. Trust what you're seeing. Don't give them no excuses either. If they're trying to sell a book or if they're trying to get popularity, if they're trying to gain subscribers or if they're followers or whatever it is, if you see somebody around that trash, they are trash. And you don't need them in your life. Get yeah, down. It's not worth it. The greatest strength is loving yourself and being by yourself and continuing on. You never have to really worry again about that narc. No matter what horrible shit that they've done to you, whatever, whatever they've inflicted onto you, whatever that they have done, they live in lies and illusion. Everything that comes out of their mouth is a lie. It is, it is meant to... It is meant to destabilize. It is meant to deflect. It is meant to destroy because they don't know how to exist as people. They're not normal. They're not normal. They're not like you or me. So be good to yourself. Be good to each other. Suffer no fools and run.